What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well today, and thank you so much for popping into my review for The Iron Claw. This movie has just hit digital, and boy, was I excited to see it. This movie has been praised by so many people. You read on Twitter and reviews on YouTube that it was kind of a surprise that it didn't get a single Oscar nomination. So finally, I was able to see it. Now, I had a lot of speculation going into it because, look, a lot of times when movies is hyped up, uh, I see it and I say, well, this was hyped up so much, my expectation is just, like, too high at that point. So I think too much hype could ruin a film. But it didn't ruin it for, for me, for The Iron Claw. This is a true story. It was inspired by true events of the Von Erich family. It's a bunch of brothers who are in the world of wrestling and it takes place in texas and the father you know you see in the beginning of the film the father is a wrestler he doesn't get the title that he wants but he wants to provide for his family and then it cuts to the future and you see the father is now retired and the two brothers there's four brothers in the film and two of them are wrestlers, including Zach Efron's character, Kevin Von Erich. And look, this movie has been said by many people that it's very sad. This is a tearjerker of a film. Now, I went into this saying, hopefully that it's not just sad for the sake of being sad, it's not getting cheap emotions from us. And this isn't that. Thankfully, this isn't that. I think the first hour of this movie adds a lot of hope than the second half of the movie does. The movie's about two hours, a little over two hours. You, just, you could sp kind of split it. The first hour is the uphill slope. Like, you know, we're on the Titanic and the thing didn't hit the iceberg yet. About an hour into the film, we hit an iceberg and things start to go downhill quickly. Now, I think that could be kind of very alarming to people. I mean, the, the way and the rate that things start to go south in the second half of this film, you know, the way it was done, I feel like it was handled very well. It could have been very sloppy. I feel like it just could have been unfocused. But I feel like the movie has an excellent focus with the brothers, I mean, overall, this is a a family story um, of brotherhood, of family overall, including the father. It's a story about grief. I mean, there's a lot of deep things in the film, but I think it handles it extremely well. And Zac Efron, everybody's like, should Zac Efron get a Best Actor nomination for this? I think he should have gotten a nomination for this. I really do. Who, who would I take out? It's, you know, I think it's either Coleman Domingo or, or Jeffrey Wright. I think the other three performances are at that high of a level. I think the other two are very good, but look, Coleman or Jeffrey Wright. But I still think Zac Efron probably could have snuck in here and took one of those other two spots. He carries the film. He's the heart of the movie. And what he goes through is it's just it's it's kind of heartbreaking to where there's this von Erich curse that is said that that people believe in that the von Erichs have terrible luck the father took the name of the grandmother i believe her name was von Erich, and it wasn't a very good name it, you know it, it came with a lot of bad luck and now they're cursed with bad luck because before the film even starts you know I guess it's a minor spoiler, but I mean, it's common knowledge. If, if you are familiar with the story, there was a brother that died at like the age of six or something. So that the, the, the tragedy kind of looms over this family. It's certainly in the first hour of the film, there is tragedy. It seems that Zac Efron is telling Lily James, who's also great in the movie, his life story. Uh, I think that, that it, it I don't know. I, I thought the movie had such a great balance of tone. I think that it, it could have been too sad, which I think it is super sad, but I think there's, I don't know. I just feel like the balance of this movie was incredible. And I thought the performances were great. 
And I thought the screenplay was great. Look, I could have thrown this in there for a screenplay nomination as well. I could have thrown this in there for a Best Picture nomination. This is a movie that stays with you, with performances that stay with you, that with characters that stay with you. You care about this family. And I think that's what the first hour of this movie really accomplishes, is for you to actually care about them. For when the second hour hits, you are invested into every single thing that happens. Jeremy Allen White is also in this movie. Uh, he plays one of the brothers, Carrie Von, Von Erich. And he is also incredible. I mean, I haven't really seen The Bear. I've seen clips of it, but I haven't seen the show in full. But he's fantastic in this movie. And there's a scene in the last maybe 20 minutes of the film that takes place that involves him that, I mean, I would, well, I was ready to cry my eyes out. I mean, it was such a a beautiful scene, a moving scene, a sad scene. There was just so many emotions with this film. And by the time it ends, with the last scene, the last few lines of dialogue, it feels very sweet. And Kevin Von Erich, look, the, the Zac Efron character, I guess this guy didn't didn't get any of the bad luck. <laughs> he got lucky. He was the brother that that made it through. And they're living on a ranch with with the kids and 12 grandchildren, I believe it said. It was pretty insane. But in the end of the day, the Iron Claw, and the action stuff too. I mean, there's wrestling stuff in this movie that I thought was great. I mean, it, it just the way that it balances everything. The family stuff, the wrestling stuff, the, the dramatic stuff. There's happy moments in this movie, too. It's the first hour of the film, there's a lot of happy moments. I think that it it works very well. And I think this movie is a masterpiece. I really do. I loved it. And I'm so happy to have watched it. And if you guys heard a bit of screaming in the background just now, I do want to apologize. My 10-month-old son is having a field day with some dinosaurs or whatever he's got over there. So... That's where we're at with that. But, um, yeah, I thought this was the masterpiece. And I'm happy to have seen it. And the Iron Claw, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. I mean, I was kind of blown away by it. I was mesmerized by it. I was captivated by it. And I was invested from beginning to end. So, guys, comment down below. Did you see the Iron Claw? Do you think it should have gotten some Oscar nominations? I mean, hell, if the supporting acting category wasn't so you know competitive... I would have thrown Jeremy Allen White in there. I mean, there's a lot of great performances. 2023 was an excellent year for film. And speaking of that, look, within the next week, I'm waiting to see the Zone of Interest. I believe that's hitting digital on Tuesday. Next Thursday, you're going to be able to watch that. So either next Thursday night or shortly after that, you can expect my list for the top 10 best movies of 2023. Just wanted to make sure I saw everything I could, put everything in contention, so that's where we're at with that, guys. You could also hit that subscribe button for that top 10 video coming out. Also, reviews coming in the future. Got a review for the, the Creator, which is a film that came out months ago. I've owned it on digital. We finally watched it. A couple Oscar nominations. Did it deserve them? What I think about that? That's coming soon as well. You guys should follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for The Iron Claw. And until next time, over and out.